Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the HPE ProLine DL580 Gen 9 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on network cards. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today. It's a little bit more about the HPE ProLine DL580 Gen 9 server. Do us a favor if you find anything that helps you in this video. Click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in. This video will be specifically dedicated to network cards. So what we're gonna do in this video as a whole, we're gonna go over the different types of network cards, the different interfaces, the max speeds that you can use. We're gonna show you how to install both types of cards. And then at the end, we'll put up a list of compatible network cards. It's not gonna be all inclusive. It's gonna be what is on HPE's approved spec list. So if there's something else that you like that you use in this box, hey, drop a comment down below. The other users will like to hear it. All right, so let's go ahead and hop into the fun stuff. All right, so let's start with the different types. There are two types of network cards for the DL580 Gen 9. There is what is known as an FLOM, uh, which is a flexible LOM, not to be confused with FBOM, but the FLOM. And then we have our PCIe card. The PCIe card is going to be a high profile, so make sure if you're ordering this that you get the high profile. There are nine PCIe slots in the back, so if you want to install multiple PCIe cards and an FLOM, that's a great way to go about it. And yes, you can do that. You can install both of them uh, with the FLOM. It's one of those things that when you're using a 1U box, we really stress using it because it saves the PCIe slots. With a box like this, you have nine PCIe slots. If you're using all of them, hell, drop a comment down below. We'd love to hear it. Uh, but realistically, you probably don't uh, have to worry too much about your PCIe slot, so you're good either way. So it might be just more what's uh, budget friendly for you. So what are the different interfaces? Well, there's RJ45, which is just another way of saying Ethernet. So if you're using this as a home lab server, which is pretty big for a home lab server, but if that's what you're using it for, uh, most likely that's going to be the connection you have will be RJ45. It also does SFP+, QSFP+, SFP28, QSFP28, and fiber channel. So those are the various interfaces that you can use. So what are the different speeds? Well, you can use one gigabit, 10 gigabit, 25, 40, or all the way up to 100. And if you're using fiber channel, you can use eight, 16, or 32. So those are the different speeds that you can use as a whole. All right, so now that we know more about the different types, the interfaces, the speeds, let's show you how to install both types. But before we do, I'm gonna grab my EST gear, be right back. All right, have my EST gear on, we're safe to handle the parts and work on our machine. So first things first, I want to lay out one of the PCIe and one of the FLOM, just so that you can see. Again, I like the FLOM because it has a dedicated port in the back here specifically for the FLOM. It even kind of looks like a little mini PCIe card, but it again is an FLOM as the form factor. And then you have your uh, PCIe card. And this one again is going to be a high profile. So want to make sure that you get a high profile. So if you go to our site to order uh, a network card, when you pick the card at the end, there'll be a drop down that'll let you choose if you want a high profile or low, or low profile, because the cards are compatible for different systems. So for yours, just make sure you pick the high profile. So all right, now let's go ahead and show you how to install them. Uh, the one thing that you will need also for this is a T15 bit. That's all you're going to need is a T15 bit. And we'll show you what you need that for here in just a second. All right, so first thing we do is just remove our top like any server we've been in before. So the first one that we are going to install is the PCE card. Uh, it's going to be a little bit easier than doing the FLOM. The FLOM is going to be a bit more involved. The PCE is actually really, really easy. So the PCIe card, uh, what you're going to need to do here is first to remove this, you're going to have a blue button that you're just going to push this direction. And when you push it, this is going to pop open right here. And you'll see this is on a hinge. And this blue clip again just pushes that open so you'll push it that way and then this will come up and then i'm going to go ahead and pick right here is where we're going to install our card so i need to remove the current bracket which is there for airflow and to prevent debris and stuff from coming in so now that we have our pcie card or our slot set up uh, you're going to want to connect four points so the first point i like to do is the tip of the bracket i will install down here in the little hole then you're going to want your leads to line up for the uh, black slot. And then your green PCB is gonna go into this green plastic piece right here. So there's gonna be your four points that you wanna line up. So we'll just go ahead and start by getting our tip down here in. And then make sure that your leads are fully in. And then you're just gonna simply push it down. It's very, very easy overall. You do need to be careful that your uh, the top of your bracket goes in fully. And that could be a little difficult at times, but you just have to, maybe adjust it around a little bit and then make sure it's fully in there. 
Once it's in, I like to double check that my leads are completely in and nice and flush and that there's no uh, gold exposed, uh, otherwise it's not fully in there. So this is in nice and perfect. So then we're just gonna close this back in to lock our PCIe into place. And that's it, we've installed our PCIe network card. And again, it was super simple. So now we're gonna show you how to do the FLOM. All right, now we're gonna show you how to install your FLOM. The FLOM is gonna be a little bit more intensive to do than your PCIe card. We're gonna need to remove our cage to start, which has all of our uh, heat sinks and CPUs and risers. So we're gonna have to pull that out first. Once we've pulled out our cage, then we need to remove our SPI board, and once the SPI board is removed, then we will officially have access to install our FLOM back here. Uh, so there's a little bit more that's involved. So in some of our other videos, you've seen us uh, remove uh, the cage before. So there's just uh, a, on the front, a little pull out, and you'll see right here, it's going to disconnect. So we'll go ahead and show you it disconnecting right now. And that's all we have to do. We don't have to take it all the way out. It can just be out just enough. And now what I'll need to do is take my T15 bit and we need to remove our SPI board. And this is uh, pretty quick. It'll just spring right out. So that's nice and easy. And then we have one over here as well. nice and easy. Okay, so now that these are both out, we're just gonna lift this straight up. And I do wanna note when you lift this up, there are a bunch of cables that are in here, so you don't wanna just yank it straight up. What we're gonna end up doing is lift this up and then gently laying it over here because I don't wanna have to take all the cables out. So I just wanted to point that out from the beginning. So we're just gonna lift this straight up. And once we get to about right here, I'm gonna kind of fold it over and I'm gonna lay it right here. So now it's safe and I have access to our FLOM back here. Okay, so with the FLOM, it's pretty simple overall. What you're gonna to wanna to do is line up your leads and you wanna make sure that the front interface right here is pushed through. And after you're done, we're just gonna screw this back in with our T15 bit. So pretty simple overall. So we're just gonna come in here and line this up. And once we've got it in, we're just gonna screw it down to the side over here. And it's officially locked into place. And again, if we wanted to have our FLOM and our PCIe card, yes, you can install both. You can install multiple network cards and, um, and that's it. So now we're gonna go ahead and put this back in. And with this, one of the things I wanted to note when you are reinstalling your SPI board, you do need to make sure that this green PCB slides in perfectly with this little metal groove over here, which uh, sometimes can be tough to see because you're more worried about over here. So that's one of the things I did wanna point out when you line this back up. Okay, and then we're just gonna push this back in, make sure it's nice and flush. We'll slide our carriage back in or our cage back in and we're ready to rock and roll. So hey, if you made it this far, do us a favor, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built DL580, Gen 9s or any other HPE service for that matter, we do new and we do used. And we also do Dell, Supermicro, Lenovo, Cisco. If you need a custom built Ryzen with an ASRock or a Gigabyte, we can handle all this and we'd love the opportunity to earn your data center or your home labs business. Thanks for stopping by guys, take care.